Hey friends, welcome to Motivation Monday where today we are organizing the pantry. So if this sounds interesting to you, stay tuned. Give this video a big thumbs up. Don't forget to hit subscribe and tap that bell to get notified when we upload every Monday and Thursday and let's get to organizing. If this is the first time we're meeting, thank you so much for clicking on today's video. My name is Beck and I'm a mom to four and our pantry is very tiny. It's called a butler's pantry, but it definitely isn't. And right now it is just one big mess pile. So I have used my flyby dollars and I have purchased some storage containers, which I'm going to put in the pantry to hopefully tidy it up and bring some organization. As a family of six, each shelf represents a different genre. In our pantry, we have a shelf for the kids snacks a shelf for our snacks a shelf for baking and a shelf for things that we are going to be using throughout the week for our dinners i'm really hoping that this is going to be a successful video and not a fail because i was shopping online and i was looking up all of the measurements that i could use within the space of the shelf so i'm really hoping that it's going to fit and there is a design that i have got for every shelf that I'm going to do. Buckle up and let's hopefully organize our tiny little pantry. My gut feeling is the fact that I'm just going to take everything out of here and really make it that blank canvas, that clean slate, and then I will put the containers and shelving units in and organize it from there. This is what was on two shelves alone, which is our baking stuff and kids snack. I think I need to put containers in on those two areas, then do the other side. Otherwise it's just gonna get messier from here. But let me show you what the shelves look like so far. You can definitely tell that the kid shelf has had more wear and tear, even scrubbing it. It's just not getting as clean as I'd like it to but I'm on a time crunch because the kids are napping so I only have two hours to do this. So let's get the containers in and put all that food back in. Then we will do this side. run into my first dilemma and that is the fact that I measured the height of the shelf without the lip. I thought I could get three of these containers in and I don't think I will. So we will see what we can do with this. But I've just noticed this one's got a chip, which is unfortunate because when you're not choosing it yourself, sometimes you do get broken or damaged ones. But it doesn't affect the functionality, so we're going with it.
think I'm pretty happy with this. This is now our baking shelf. So we've got flowers up here, sugars down here. I have an extra bag of sultanas because this shelf was such a mess. I was buying too much of products. And we have all of our baking stuff, our dried fruits, and then ice and stuff. And then in this little roundabout thing is all the stuff I need to make cakes and cupcakes. And then at the back is our storage of rose water. So let's get onto the kid shelf. I didn't measure every shelf, I just measured one and now I'm maybe regretting it because I've tried to stack three after it fits so beautifully on this shelf and it's not working. I'm gonna try again. I'm really hoping it's gonna work because this is the kids snack shelf and they really do need as much storage as possible. I don't know why this shelf is not working but this one is so I'm thinking I might need to just swap the shelving units over and do the kid snacks on this side. Change your plan. How weird that this didn't fit on the other side. I am glad that I swapped these shelves over because this is exactly how I envisioned this shelf for kids snacks to be. And I guess it kind of makes sense because this shelf up here is gonna be the mom and dad snacks. So I have a couple of containers that I'm gonna put at the front and I'm gonna organize all the kids snacks. I think I'm gonna do another change of plan. I think I'm gonna give this shelving unit to the kids, so swap the shelves over because I think this is actually gonna be better for Mick and I. This is the tough thing about trying to organize it online hypothetically with drawings is it might look good in a drawing, but in reality, the practical <laughs> application might be a bit different. So I'm gonna quickly swap this over and then I think it might be ready. I do have bottom shelves that I need to figure out but I think that might be a tomorrow deal because the kids are starting to slowly wake up.
is super satisfying seeing this transformation. We have our breakfast cereals ready to go, followed by our parent snack shelf. Behind are these containers that have got our supervised snacks, but then underneath on the bottom one is our hidden treaties because the containers at the front actually hide this from view. Then we've got our kids snacks and I really love using this cutlery container because I can see at a glance which ones I need to restock. And then the I'm hungry fruit. After every meal, someone says I'm hungry. So we have a combination of fresh and packaged fruit for their enjoyment. Then we have our sourdough stuff, our breakables that are kept up right at the top of our cupboard. And then all of our baking goods, including our cake decorating. Little lazy Susan here. This is our dinner shelf and this pretty much looks bare for about 80% of the week because I meal prep on a Sunday night and then all of the extra food. Thanks so much for joining me today. Please give this video a big thumbs up. Don't forget to hit subscribe and tap that bell. And here on the screen, I've got a motivation video and a vlog for your enjoyment.